So Roblox just casually dropped the best update ever in the history of its platform. And uh, it needs no explanation. I can just show it to you. So you know how when we're programming in studio and we're using a service, let's say we're using something like uh, the player service and the player service is pretty cool. It has a lot of methods in it, like set attribute and stuff like that. And you can see how all these different, uh, all these different functions here, you know, they have these nice descriptive comments telling you what the function does. And you know, we've never ever been able to create comments of our own for any of these functions. We weren't able to have anything pop up here. I mean, if we were to make a function, I'll just call this test. And you know, I went to go call my test function. That's, that's all we'd see. I mean, we got type annotation. So if it took an input, we could define you know, the type of the input. And that way, when you call the function, it'll tell you, hey, this parameter needs to be a number. But for the most part, that's as far as we've gotten with the descriptions of our own functions. And we'd have to be left with commenting them ourselves and giving other developers descriptions of what these functions do. But ch check this out, you know, if I just say this function does stuff, you know, and then I, I go to call the call the function. Look at that. Yeah, that's right. Roblox just added the ability for developers to comment and describe their own functions and have that appear within this little pop up IntelliSense window. How cool is that? And we can make this comment as tall as we want. This is another line up here. So we could say line above and down here we could add a line below. And when we call our test, as you can see, there's our line above. There's the description, here's the line below it. If we add a space between the comment and the function, then it's not going to appear anymore. It's not going to associate these comments as a description to the function. But we get rid of that space and bada boom, bada bing, look at that. We got a description. And we can also use multi-line comments too. So we could just create a multi-line comment here and say, this is my description. And we call the function. There it is. How cool is that? And then we also have formatting with this too. So if you wanted to achieve some of the formatting that Roblox has, like with, uh, I think, like destroy here, you can see that this text right here kind of has like a code formatting to it. And let's say um, you want to define what your parameter is. Like here's a, here's a param. You could uh, use a carrot, two carrots, put code in here and then uh, copy this and make another set and then you can format code in between. So you could say uh, param is a number parameter. And then to close out this um, formatting right here, I just need to put a slash before the code. So this is the opening and then this is the closing of the code. And then when we go to call test, look at that param has that kind of code style applied to it in our description. And we can do other things too. Like if we wanna make this uh, bold, uh, we can do, I believe it's strong, and then we can close it out like this. We go type test, look at that, it's strong. So you can describe your parameters this way, and you could describe code using, using this HTML tag. And there's several more tags you can do. You can uh, do this tag for italicized text. You can use this tag for making line breaks. So uh, if I do something like this and then I put a break here and then we, you know, type out test, boom, put a line break there. That's pretty cool. We can also uh, do paragraphs. So P, we could say, hey, this is going to be uh, an example paragraph here. Very epic. You can see it put a lot of space here because this is supposed to be the paragraph or whatever. Um, and then I believe there's another one called superscript. So if you do this one, sup, and then you could put some example text in here, and then you close it out. We call our test function. Uh, there's our superscript. That's pretty cool. So you could add that on top of something like 10 to the power of five, and then you go type out test. Look at that. There's a whole dev forum post here that just announced it. New script editor hover tips and user defined function documentation. So they put in new hover tips and stuff like that. But obviously the very epic one is user defined function documentation. And then if we go down here, 
somebody told, there it is. At present, you should be able to use these HTML tags in the documentation tip. So italicized text, bold text, code, superscript, line breaks, and paragraphs. So very epic. And obviously we can't forget the best part of this update. Uh, you know, you can just do something. Uh... <laughs>